Hello, hello, it's Anthony from No Frills Nets Retraining. And in today's free training, we're going to look at best practices to use when sending your transactions to your customers via email. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get going. So what is the best practice when emailing out transactions to your customers and vendors? Now I'm on an invoice as you can see and if I go to the actions drop down and I choose email the email goes out and I do not get to see what it looks like before it hits the client's inbox. So I can't approve it, I can't check it, I can't review it. So that can be a little disconcerting. So I'm going to show you a little setting that will help you because it will let you verify and review these emails prior to actually being sent out. So we're going to find it under Setup, Company, Printing Facts and Email Preferences. And of course, we're logged in as the administrator into this demo data set. And we're going to go to Email. And you'll see right at the bottom over here, there is an option to use pop-up for main transaction email button. So we're going to want to turn that on and watch what happens when we save and go back to our invoice and this time when we click email we get a pop-up so this is the standard email pop-up screen if we click on attachments you'll see that it is set to include the transaction as an attachment to the email and what's more i can go in and add a message in the email which I could either type out at the bottom over here or in fact choose from a template so that the email looks a lot more professional. Let's preview it to see what it looks like. Then only will I click Merge and Send, which of course will send the email together with the invoice attachment to the client. Thanks for watching our training today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for constant updates.